but to continue my series on servicing CB radios on a financial shoestring. And what I want to do on this one is we're going to measure the power output. Now, on the last video, number one in the series, I showed you how to make a dummy load uh, for very low cost. And we're going to put that dummy load into operation shortly when we've brought a CB radio in here. Now, there's a very ordinary power supply, and you remember that's one I serviced the other day. But I've deliberately dragged that one out because it is an ordinary power supply. And what we've done is to connect, oh, Mr. Chip is there it's at the bench, he has connected that cheap multimeter, the one we bought off um, from China, uh, it'll come to me eventually, from for £2.89 or whatever it was delivered. And what we've done is to connect the negative lead to the positive, and that positive lead is going to go to the CB radio, because what I want to be able to do is to measure current drawn by the CB radio under test. Now a cheap power supply like that doesn't have a meter for either volts or amps. And so that's why we're putting that meter in, because I want to see what that radio is drawing when we press transmit on it in the way of current. Now we're just going to go over to the other workshop. This is the audio workshop, which Mr. Chippy's domain. We're going to go over to the other workshop, and I'll just show you the radio under test on the test set so we know what power it's really doing. It's a Fidelity 1000, it's in for repair, it's a customer's property and it's as it's come out of the box. We've just done a preliminary repair and the radio is doing 2 watts. So just join me in the other workshop. OK, so here we are on one of the workbenches. That's showing the power supply we use on the workbench which is quite an expensive power supply, they're about £100. Having said that, you can pay hundreds and hundreds for power supplies. It's 3 amp, that's all we need to do because most CB radios are only going to be drawing about 1.4. And at the moment, you can see it's doing 13.7 volts, that's the right-hand display, and the left-hand display is showing it's drawing 170 milliamps. Got the camera on the Marconi test set, and if Mr. Chippy presses transmit on this radio, we've got virtual full-scale deflection, which is just approaching 3 watts. And that's on the Fidelity 1000, which has just been tuned, which is a customer's repair. Now you can unkey that now, Mr. C. Um, you'll be aware that Fidelity 1000s were sold as a 3.5 watt radio, not a 4 watt radio. And it's not often that you can ever, to be honest, see more than 2.7 watts out of them. So this is quite a reasonable example. I think the service manual says fail them if anything you can't do anything better than 1.7 right what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video and I'll just show you a little cheap uh, power meter this is still on the market even though this particular one came in a box of junk I probably paid the equivalent of two pounds for it and I've calibrated it against our test set because it was miles out okay so we've now got the camera pointing at this small 1982 SWR meter, which is SWR4. I've seen these branded as Olsen, and uh, I've certainly had a quick look on eBay and I spotted two American vendors with them for about £20. It's the only, out of all the SWR meters that I've acquired over the years, this is the only one which seems to be sensible with the way it uh, allows you to do the power. And it also has a field strength position which is quite useful to me. Now we've calibrated this little meter against the test set and if Mr Chippy keys up you will see that that's also reading somewhere around three and a half watts. So that's into the dummy load of the test instrument. So now what we're going to do is to connect up my dummy load as I made on video number one. Mr Chippy did point out to me that I just said three and a half watts on the little meter and of course I meant three because the radio is transmitting just a little smidging under three watts so it should be reading three. Now we've put the dummy load and if you if you if Mr Chippy just turns the meter around you'll see we've put the dummy load into where the antenna and back again thank you. Brilliant. And now if you key up that will also read hopefully the three watts that radio is Mr Chippy. So as you can see, well hopefully you can, that should also be reading somewhere around about 3 watts. 
Of course, it's not going to have the accuracy of the um, Marconi test instrument or any of the other instruments we have here. But does that read somewhere around three watts, Mr. Chippy? Yeah, just under. That's right, and that's where it should be. Good. So with the little dummy load and on that cheap meter, um, we, we've got the ability to read basically the power of that radio. And the other thing I'll show you is the power supply. We've got an ammeter on that, so you can let go of that, Mr. C. Unfortunately, there's glare from the fluorescent lights in here on the um, power supply. As you can see, that's set at 13.7 volts. And on standby, it's showing 260 milliamps, 0.26. Just, um, that's not helped either. It must be the sun coming through the windows. Now, if you key up, Mr. C, what have we got? 840 milliamps. And bear in mind this radio is only doing 3 watts. Most radios will be drawing somewhere around 1.2 amps. So that's 850 milliamps. So we know if you had a fault condition and you're not transmitting and it's only drawing some tiny current, uh, you, you know that it, there's something amiss with the transmitter and you can look further into that. Now, Mr. C, if you just let go of that, can you flick the low power switch on the back of the set? I key up again, and on low power, look, it's drawing 400 milliamps. So the radio will now be doing something like 350 milliwatts, and it's drawing 400 milliamps. So you can let, let go of that now, Mr. C. What we're just going to do is we'll finish off in the audio workshop, and I'll show you the ammeter we've mackled up to an ordinary power supply. So back in the audio workshop, where there's no expensive test equipment for... Uh, two-way radio we've got that ordinary Bremi 3 amp power supply we've got it connected up to the £2.99 from China digital multimeter on the 10 amp range sitting in series with the positive power lead as you can see the Fidelity 1000 radio in bits we've got the little cheap um, power meter which I say I bought in a batch of junk for £2 and we've got the little dummy loaders I made in the back now Mr C if you want to just key up and you'll see we've got about 3 watts and we're drawing 820 milliamps according to that meter so a similar result as we were getting on the expensive test equipment and that's quite adequate to be able to set up the uh, transmitter on that radio as far as power is concerned so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed part 2 of servicing CB radios on a shoestring <laughs>